what percentage of your revenue is dedicated to your learning and development function? So um, that's something that, you know, over the years we've debated uh, quite a bit, not what the number is, but whether or not it was good. Um, because um, we, we currently invest in learning and development a much smaller percentage of our revenue than other companies. So, you know, typically you look at like the ASTD best list and things like that, and everybody always says, oh, you should spend X amount of, you know, your revenue on learning and development. And we spend appreciably less than that, which, um, you know, X number of years ago, yeah, I don't know, three or five years ago, we used to talk about the fact that that was a bad thing. Like we needed to invest more and spend more. And, and I definitely believe that over the years we've made more investment and that was appropriate. But at the same time, I really came to appreciate and believe that we just happen to be very efficient at what we do. You know, the more focused we are in alignment with the few true business priorities, the more we were able to improve the business situation without having to invest so much in learning and development, which, you know, it doesn't necessarily correlate that just because you don't spend a lot means that there's something wrong. 